Hello, welcome to Green Choice Farm. In your view is a video of a farmland which we are getting prepared for cultivation. But as you can see in the video, the land, this is the current state of the land. The land is full of trees, plants and shrubs which will all have to be removed. Yeah. So the, the land you saw before um, the, the tree stump was removed. This is how the land looks like. After the tree stumps have been removed, now today we'll be doing the plowing and to start the maize farm so all the land that you see apart from the green field where the rice were built where, where the rice field all this side will be so we are estimating about we are about to plow after the plowing, you will see also see the way the land has been taken care of. So stick with us. Subscribe for more videos. And you can also comment if there is anything that you think we should do will be helpful to our farm, to our family. Let's do it together. Okay, so this is how the land was looking when uh, I visited the farm. Um, most of the weeds were dying off and um, it wasn't uh, um, uh, a dry season or hamatan but uh, it's because um, my farm manager applied uh, some faucet in the site plant known as uh, condel so he applied it on the farm on the field and uh, we plan to uh, plant the, uh, the, 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 the maize so yes so after some weeks this is how the, it is looking um, all the, the the land is uh, all the weeds are dying and this was done after the tree stems was also removed so yes um, um, this is uh, one way of getting your land prepared for planting so this is the condition of the land before plowing. So uh, plowing is just about to start. You can see the tractors warming up to start uh, the plowing. So stick with us for more information and how things is, uh, is about to, to go. And we'll give you the details of it in this video. Uh, the farm manager in action. He's working so hard. You can see him in action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so at this point, I needed to join the guys uh, in removing all the trees on the field uh, because uh, it was creating a, an obstacle uh, for the tractors to plow the land very well. So um, all hands was needed, so I had to join them and then uh, make sure that um, the field was clean for the, uh, the, the tractors to be able to plow the land. Um, in, if you leave them, they, they will try to dodge those trees and in that case, the land will not be properly plowed. So we did our best in removing all the trees so that we can uh, leave them the way to do the, the, the job. In fact, these guys did a, a good job. They, they plowed the land uh, to their satisfaction. The land was new, so we were afraid they would do their job well. But see, they work tirelessly 
without fear and they did a very marvelous job we enjoy what we really did the work and the land was very very well found and i'm impressed with the way they did the work yes you can overhear me even uh, with my farm manager discussing how they were doing their work and because it was a new land it was really really difficult for them to to do their job but to be honest they did a very good job and i'm willing to use them or uh, any time um, I, I want to plow my land until I buy my own tractor. Yes. Yes, um, I have planned to um, make a separate video uh, regarding farm machineries. Um, in fact, um, something that I realized when I got to... I have known this for a long time. And something that um, I think when I got here has given me the... I've got uh, a, a lot of conviction that um, something that one have to invest money into that is farm machinery. So something that I'm going to make a separate video on and then share with you. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, maybe somebody will take take it from there and then uh, invest into those areas, which is I think it's also a very profitable uh, area that one can engage in. Um. Um, I have planned also that um, I'm going to give you a breakdown of from start to finish um, the, mill, the the rice, how to start the mill, the rice farm, uh, uh, rice cultivation. So um, I'm going to give you a breakdown from start to finish from the uh, land preparation, uh, planting, uh, applying fertilizer and uh, weed management and so on and so forth so um, it's going to be a separate video which i'm going to give you a very nice uh, step by step of how to do it so that anybody who is interested in also getting into uh, rice plantation can uh, use it or um, learn from from our mistakes and also our success story um, we will also give uh, a step-by-step -step, uh, of the maize and as well as the the rice, uh, the, the, as well as the the, the chili pepper. So um, um, I will encourage everybody to like my videos, um, subscribe to them, and uh, comment. To find that we need a lot of comments. We want to know what people are thinking about the farm. And the last comment I'm coming to you are impressed. I also leave my contact below the description so that anybody who wants to contact me can also do so. Thank you very much and I appreciate you, every one of you. Thank you. Five years. Five years. Please like and subscribe to our channel we appreciate you for doing so thank you very much so this is um after the plowing this is how the land looks this is where exactly i was standing when i took the first shot so you can see that the land is now bare and ready for the maize cultivation. We'll be doing some uh, chili pepper on this stretch. Maybe one or two acres. And then the rest will be for maize. So we will be giving you updates on each and every steps that we take. So stay tuned. If you look how far and the green field is for the rice and it's looking really good.